Yo, what is up boys and welcome back to another video. This one is going to be talking about the upcoming release of Daisy 1.0. That's right, finally, Daisy is going to be leaving early access. It's going from alpha to beta and that is going to be happening at the end of this year. There's been so much drama involving the Daisy 1.0 release and I'm going to be talking about all that now and hopefully by the end of the video you guys should know what Daisy 1.0 is, what it's going to have in it and why so many people are so dearly upset by it. I'll clarify why exactly people are so upset obviously in a second but this is a poll by one of the community members Boydy which has three options either hold 1.0 till complete you'll see more information about that in a second meet the 2018 deadline which is obviously what they're trying to do right now trying to release it by December of 2018 is when beta 1.0 daisy is gonna be coming out that's the plan right now from them or don't care either way and you can see 75% of people said hold 1.0 until complete if you look at the reddit thread you will see it's currently got zero upvotes because there were so many angry people people saying like someone literally said I hope armor falls a failure and bohemia interactive uh, fail is a, uh, a game development studio calling us 1.0 is uh, ethically unacceptable. You'll see so many people so angry about obviously what they talked about for the 1.0 beta release of DZ. I'll have a link to the Reddit threads and stuff like that in the description if you would like to see it. But with all that said, let's go ahead and get into it, look at the status report and talk about what Daisy 1.0 beta actually is. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't actually read this thread inside out or this uh, stats report inside out. I've never been able to read these, they're just a bunch of words. But I do know the TLDR of everything which is gonna be happening. Like I said, it's gonna be out by the air, and essentially the content you can expect is similar to what you've seen in Experimental already. So I think this isn't exact, but there's a rough estimate of around about 12 weapons which are gonna be in the 1.0 release. And in case you're wondering how many weapons there is in total from Daisy 062, which are gonna be missed out from the 1.0 release, this is all the weapons right here, which have been compiled by the lovely Lassian Reddit user. So I'll just save the weapons quickly in case you guys can't quite see them right here. I'll put them on screen as well. So you can see all the weapons which aren't gonna be in 1.0. Crossbow, improvised Ashwood short crossbow. Amphibia S, P1, Glock 19, Derringer, 1911, 1911 engraved, Magnum, Longhorn, Flame Gun, and those are just for pistols. Let's go on to some more. Spore 22, Trumpet, Repeater, AK-74, AK-74U, AK-101, Org, CR-527 Carbon, SQS, B95, FN Fell, Winchester Model 70, VSS Mentores, RM73 Rack SMG, IHZ43 Shotgun, Sword Off IH, IZH73 Shotgun, MP133 Shotgun with Pistol Grip, M67 Explosive Grenade, Flashbang, Smoke Grenade, Smoke Grenade, uh, another Smoke Grenade, Explosive Grenade. The problem is with this release is it doesn't have many features which we have seen and acknowledge you know, to be a part of DayZ, even though it's 1.0. So things like being able to throw things, you can't throw things in a 1.0 release. This will be added in eventually, but that means things like the grenades are not gonna be in this release. We can't throw guns either. And this is just the weapons which are from 062. It's just weird to think two years ago, the game did literally have more content than it has now. So many things are missing, and we'll talk about those in a second. But anyway, weapons which are in the files but aren't actually implemented in the game but could be implemented. With the recut though, the low launcher, the RPG-7, the MP4 and Soul, the PTM, the Dark Gun, the Shock Pistol, the Groza 4, the Sorry 4, Star Scout, Sniper Rifle kind of thing, CR-550, M12 Shotgun, Sega 12, Mini Uzi, PP-90 Bison, PVC Bow, Golden Eagle, Desert Eagle, by the way, PP Pistol, and the Spear Gun. There's probably some other ones which are being missed out there, but this is essentially the majority, it seems like, what people are upset over. A lack of content in the DAISY 1.0 release. And I'm actually going to be playing Devil's Advocate. I'm going to see the good things about this release. But, um, yeah, I guess we'll get on those in a bit because there is some more things to be upset over. This thread right here talks about some of the things which are missing from 063. If you played a bunch of 063 recently, like I have, you will know there's so many things which you just kind of forgot were in 062 which aren't in 063. But this right here does list a decent amount of those. There's no drowning, there's no diseases, there's so many items missing, you can't handcuff people. I think you will be able to in 1.0, but right now you can't handcuff people. There's no planes, there's no helicopters, there's no fishing, there's no ragdolls, that will also be added later on. There's no barricading up buildings or where you can base build, which is gonna be really awesome coming into 1.0 release. There's no grenades, there's no birds. In fact, if you go look at the Daisy 2015 roadmap, you'll see there's some things which are even missing from there. They are currently years and years behind. If for some reason, I'm assuming because of the higher ups in Bohemia saying you've got to get it out by the end of the year. This is the year of Daisy. Release it, motherfuckers. They are branding this as 1.0. People hear 1.0 and think of a feature complete, especially with beta, you think of a feature complete game, and that is not the case. Things like right here, improve cooking and hort horticulture, farming basically. I don't think that's in the game right now. Diseases, not in the game right now. Animal companions, I don't know when that's ever gonna be added in, if ever. 
Aerial transport, still not in from Q3 of 2015. Animal predators and birds, not in. Steam community integration is gonna be in later on this year. Player statistics is not in. UUI, I guess it is technically new. But this is essentially the TLDR of why I was so upset and, and what exactly the 1.0 build is gonna have. It's gonna be missing lots of stuff. There's even more things which you won't see here. As a whole, just a bunch of uh, loot, clothing, items, weapons, and content. But let's talk about the good things about 1.0 and why I am actually kind of excited about Daisy 1.0's release, which again, is coming out later on this year. So this right here is the rundown of critical new beer features. So these are things which are gonna be added in 1.0, which I am very, very excited about. We've got base building. We have seen some early testing of base building in the current build of Daisy stress test. It looks pretty good. It looks kind of complicated and it's not in the stress test right now, but this is coming out very, very soon. It includes an electricity system, precise placing of objects. So you could barricade up barns. You could barricade up, I guess, a house technically, but that would be a bit more weird. Essentially, the few structures you've got are these large wooden structures, which you can wall up things with, you can stand on top of, and you've got a tower you can climb on top of and tents and stuff like that. So it's not really a crazy amount of base building, but you will technically be able to base build in this build, apparently. You got a new implementation of vehicles. Vehicles are already in the 0.63 stress test uh, right now on the server. They do have issues. They do have things like a vehicle appearing on someone's screen, but not appearing on someone else, not being able to get in and out of a vehicle, um, flying when in a vehicle, a lot of issues there. But the main thing which excites me, and many people will claim it will be the thing which will revive DZ standalone, is modding support. This is the thing which I think it seems like a lot of people are missing out on and maybe it'll still suck. Maybe the game will just suck on 1.0 release. No one on, there won't be a big jump in population and this won't matter. The modding support means Steam Workshop support. You click subscribe, you download, let's say a weapon pack or a new vehicle or a new map, right? Awesome. A game launcher, so much like Armor 3, in fact, we can go ahead and open it right now. Much like Armor 3, you will have a similar kind of launcher where you'll be able to unload mod mods, you'll be able to load mods, you'll be able to, I'm sure, save a preset. This is gonna be huge for server owners and will mean finally we can have some actual mods in Daisy. In case you guys have been watching videos from users like Septic Falcon and you're under the impression that there is a bunch of mods already in Daisy, this is simply not the case. I could open up the Daisy standalone launcher right now. There's very little actual modded servers and the servers which do exist, quite frankly, are very much so not modded. Daisy standalone roleplay, another roleplay server and a bunch of battle royale servers. None of them do anything dramatic in terms of new weapons, new vehicles, but this is gonna become a thing with also specific modding tools. We will finally have actual official Daisy standalone modding tools. I'm not gonna lie, I haven't clicked on this link. Let's have a quick look at it. Yeah, so some actual modding tools rather than what we have right now, which I'm told is very rudimentary. It's not official support for Daisy standalone. If you know your way around, you can mod standalone, but it's not easy. And server files for hosting community servers. We already have those, but whatever. You will have all things with this release, such as the bleeding source actually being visible so you will see when someone's bleeding, how many holes you're bleeding from, uh, character lifespan, like growing beards, which seems pretty buggy right now, learning soft skills, character restraint, which is gonna be huge. You can put a gag in someone's mouth, you can restrain someone, and hit reactions. When you shoot people, it looks like they're getting hurt. I did also wanna show you guys the population of Daisy standalone throughout the past six months. I think maybe it won't be, maybe it won't be shocking, I don't know. But it shocked me, but I'm getting really interested in 063, and I am really interested in 1.0 release of Daisy. But look at the population. It's been going down in the past six months even. So I really don't know what this 1.0 release of Daisy Standalone could mean. There's definitely a big outcry of fuck you, Bohemia. But at the same time, maybe the whole idea of the modders will fix a game will become a reality. Will it ever become what it used to be with 50,000 players playing on the, the first day of Daisy Standalone? I'm not sure. Scum did actually outdo Daisy in its launch week with I think hitting 60,000 players max, which is a very similar game, but only time will tell. The problem is something which wasn't even mentioned in this is I feel like the 1.0 release will not only lack a lot of features, but will also have bugs which we already know and love, such as the dwarf bug, the headless bug, being able to jump while prone, the bugs I mentioned before with the vehicles, hit registration issues, watch this clip and tell me that's okay. Nope, I can't see you. I can see. Right. And yes, that was on a popular server, but still, they did mention years and years ago, or Dean did at least, 150 player servers is one of their hopes and goals. And the devs are aware of this issue, but still, I feel like these are gonna be issues on 1.0. They did also mention things which were originally planned for the Bay S-1.0 release, but it's not gonna be in there, but things like helicopters, climbing over obstacles to be able to actually fold, throwing items, which will include the uh, grenades even, bows, the ragdolls coming back, two-way doors so you can open them each way, fish traps, and also item coloring. 
There was also a lot of criticism over this part right here. They do mention there will be two vehicles in the launch, the V3S truck, which we all know is really fucking loud and stand on 062. And also, the vehicles in 063 seem just okay. They aren't perfect still. Like I said, there's bugs with them, but they don't seem too fluid still. There seems to be a bit of delay in turning them. But also ladder 4x4, which I'm assuming is what is in the Daisy stress test right now. But the thing which got some criticism right here is the way they listed the weapons, which aren't going to be in the new build. Magnum, Red 9, blah, blah, blah. Any of them available in 062, but not on 063 stress test, which is just like a simple way of saying all of this stuff right here. Obviously, it would be a bit illogical to list all things which aren't going to be listed in here, but why list six different weapons and then list, oh yeah, every other weapon we forgot to mention here. Bit weird. Along with that, we also had some talks about uh, the watchtowers being able to key code your base essentially, and also shown this update with maps. These are already in a stress test, but there will be maps in Daisy Sandlone once it does release in 1.0. Your character visually opens up a map, and you will see a map when you obviously have it open. Not gonna lie, I kind of prefer simplicity. I kind of wish I could just press M and open up a map, but I get this is more realistic. And if you guys have ever played Miscreate before, I like the way Miscreate do their map. They have a visual map which opens and the character actually looks at the map. Lights in the background can illuminate the map. If you're in a dark room, you're not gonna be able to read it. If you're in a light room, you will be able to read it. I like it like that. I don't like this way. I do wish the character would just physically look and be able to zoom in at the map. That'd be much cooler than this little 2D screen, but whatever. This will work. So the question is at this point, that's pretty much everything from the stats report, which I'll have again linked to in the description. What is Daisy Standalone 1.0 gonna be like? Is it gonna be a complete disappointment? I mean, obviously people are already disappointed because of the outrageous amount of uh, detail that's lacking here, but what did people expect? The developers already mentioned that they were gonna be uh, releasing 1.0 by the end of the year. So do people really expect them to rake in an additional 25 weapons along with adding in helicopters and birds, animal companions, uh, fortifications, climbing over obstacles. Did you really expect to get all of this stuff added in when they're already confronted with so many issues in the current stress test build with, like I said, the desync with the vehicles? The hit reg as a whole in 063 now is atrocious. The dwarf bugs, all that kind of shit. You kind of need to add stuff slowly. And you're right, they shouldn't have pushed it at this early date. We should wait until the game is more complete because at this point, people have already waited five years. So that's right, the game's been developed for five years now, ignoring the development time before that, which is about a year and a half. Um, people have waited five years. I think we can wait longer to see all the stuff added in to make it a true 1.0 build. But just to confirm, the 1.0 build is not 1.0. No, it's not a beta. Beta is supposed to be a feature complete game. This is not a feature complete game. So it's kind of a lie, but modding might save it. And I am very, I've got mixed feelings towards it, but I'm very, kind of optimistic about modding doing that. Maybe it won't, but I think if they implement it well, like they did with armor, and there's a bunch of people coming back to it, modding could save it. New weapons, new vehicles to keep it fresh, new maps. That was the thing which made Daisy mods so much fun when I used to you know, pretty much record it full time, was the fact that I would have a new map every week. Um, it is possible for that to happen, maybe. Anyway, I just wanted to have this quick rant so you guys know what's going on with Daisy 1.0. Daisy was ultimately which started my career back in 2013 and it's allowed me to do this full time. So it is interesting to go back and always check how this game is doing. Much like it is with Identity, which is still coming out before the end of the month to Steam release at least, or like it'll be on Steam. So we'll see what happens with this, but I'd love to hear what you guys think about it in the comment section below. Most of the content creators out there who make regular Daisy content are shell-shocked by this and very disappointed in Bohemia. But like my good friend Ernal said, Bohemia have been letting down for years, you know, in case people didn't see this roadmap already. I understand things changed and they needed to remake, blah de blah de blah but Bohemia have disappointed with deadlines year after year after year. Their engine simply said, makes it very slow, it seems like, to implement any kind of content. Namalsk, the guy who made Namalsk, uh, Nam, I forgot what his name is, but that guy made Namalsk, he was hired by Bohemia like three years ago. Uh, we still don't know what's going on with Namalsk. If he doesn't add it, or if Bohemia don't officially add it in, is it gonna be added in with modding? I don't know. But that's a problem with Bohemia, they, or not one of the problems at least. It feels like there was never anything that exciting to come uh, come back to, you know I mean? It's not like, guys, we've got fucking the mouse coming out the corners, coming out in a week. Like all this stuff is very slow, nothing surprising. It's just a slow fucking, it's slow torture really. Um, I don't know how it took people five years to be like, wow, Bohemia, you've disappointed us. They disappointed us many, many years ago, um, which is why I didn't play it. As much as I wanted to play it, and I wanted it to be this massive open world, zombie style game, massive success, and bring me all the way up to a million subscribers, it didn't. And now I've got a dead, dead channel, okay? Anyway, thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I've got some good Daisy content coming in the future, and I am hoping for the best from this one, okay? Bohemia, 
I think you can sort it out. Maybe. How long are they going to be developing this game after Beta comes out? I don't know. We haven't really communicated that. Things have changed throughout the years. So we'll see. I think originally we said five years after Beta, but I'm not sure about that one anymore. So we'll see. I just said the same thing twice. I'm tired. Alright, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good night. Let me know what you think.